To me, I live, eat, and breathe surfing. I wake up every morning at 6.30 and can't wait to make the drive to do my job. I work all day in the shop, fixing surfboards, making surfboards, shaping them. We can do anything start to finish. Stand up paddle boards, kite boards, wake surfboards. We just love building and making American products. The main key process is to build a board that will function and bring pure enjoyment to the consumer. I'm a craftsman. You know, I just want to do the best work that I know I can do. The glassing's a big part of the board. The board can ride totally different with different weights of glass. One of the things I love about Aerial Light is I can actually pull the cloth out onto the board and I can grab the two ends and pull them down and pull them towards me at the same time. And it will actually take the fibers and tighten them onto the rail. It uses a little bit less resin and it gives it a little bit more strength and it gives me that balance of I'm looking for high performance. So I'm really always trying to get the lightest but the most strength at the same time. You'll see how fast Aerial Light wets out because as soon as it hits the board, it just starts clearing out. So basically what I try to explain to people in a lamination job, you're trying to make that cloth right now that's white to just clear out and you want it to still look like cloth. We just don't go out and buy a product because everybody else is using it. One, it has to be first clarity so that our laminators and our, our guys are not struggling to make a good product. But also not just looks, it's got to have the strength factor to go with it. Because I don't want something just to look good if it's going to fall apart like a product coming from overseas. It comes down to not the height, but what's actually being proved in the water. We've used other products that just don't hold up as good as Aerial Light. 